The interview was done at the Acropolis Cafe, where I found the renowned performer sipping a latte. Boy, it was hard finding you. I just about asked everyone connected with theater in Athens where you hung out. But no one had seen you for two and a half millenniums. If I hadn't looked at your statue, I never would have known what you look like. I prefer anonymity. Do you mind if I sit it down? Go ahead, I have no problem with it. What a wonderful beard you have there. Six feet long. It gets me the respect I deserve. Uh huh, I'm sure it does. So what has the greatest actor been doing all these years? Enjoying my retirement. If such a thing is possible. You, retired? I don't believe it. From what I heard you racked up over 300 performances on the hillside during the golden age of Greek drama. 325 performances, to be exact. I also did a lot of house-to-house -house demos. But nobody counts that anymore. They get me mixed up with that so-called orator, Pericles. A frustrated ham if there ever was one. Full of rhetoric. He'd talk your head off while angling to keep his position center stage. Never had a story worth listening to. Makes me sick just to think about it. An absolute menace, if there ever was one. You were the first actor. Why did you decide to step out on your own? What technique did you use? Technique? What are you talking about? I was standing there, like everyone else in the chorus, chanting. Doing my job. I got sick and tired of repeating the same old lines from Homer over and over again. So I stepped out, on my own. The only problem was I didn't have a tuxedo. You spoke out? Just like that, on the spot, without a cue? You improvised? In the middle of a tragedy? Why not? Everyone needs a break and honey I invented tragedy. When I stepped out, I turned everything around. You should have seen the tears running down the cheeks of the chorus. That was a tragedy, a real tragedy. How could you see the tears running down their cheeks? They wore masks. Haha ha, they were drowning in tears, why shouldn't they take off their masks? I was like get out of my way I have a reputation to protect. And I wanted to do more good than harm. Oh come on, you don't talk to Greek chorus that way. It's insulting, an outrage. Look, I knew Homer's words backwards and forwards. I decided to say the words backwards. So there was no mistake in who was in command. They never knew what hit them. Well did you get away with it? Ha <laughs> ha. What's so funny? Oh nothing, it's just that our stage manager, Aeschylus, asked if he could write my words down. Oh Aeschylus the stage manager? He used to sit off to the side of the hill holding book. I figured, if he liked my words that much, why not let him write them down? If I had known he'd steal my lines, I would have copyrighted my words. Aeschylus was a hack. A hack? That's dangerously close to heresy. Heresy? I did him a favor. Without me, he would have made a fool out of himself. Look, I gotta go. I got a business to attend to. People to bring together. Oh, like your acting school, what do you even teach there? Do unto others, exactly what? they have done unto you. It may sound dark, but it is what I live by. Now good day and goodbye. Well how was the interview? Great. For the first person ever to appear on stage as an actor playing a character in a play, he seems like he has been through a lot. Well what do you expect from the guy who won the first documented competition and invented theatrical touring? Ahaya, uh -huh, yeah, the king of improv and the birth father of the thespians.